Give me some hits, JB. Man, I really enjoyed today's show. I got to say, for for the most part, for me, the entire show was a hit. For the mo- for the most part. Uh, to be more specific, match number one. We kicked it off with tag team action. Oh, wow. And uh, we kicked it off with the Skimmerhorns versus the Young Goats. You and I have been talking about the tag team scene here for a little bit with the podcast. And those boys put on a match here during this episode. Uh, it's an incredible match. It was the first match. And within that match, you saw a few different things go down, a few different spots that I thought was pretty pretty impressive. The first one that I got to call out, you saw Brad Skimmerhorn with the floral shirt. You saw him with the drip. He, he had a little drip on him here today. So I, I got to call that out. Shout out oh. to Brad. He's been <laughs> shopping. He's been shopping, <laughs> spending that CW money. But uh, on, on a serious tip, you had, uh, you had Aaron Roberts show a feat of strength that uh, we would see from a guy like Humongous. We would see from uh, a big, big, nasty guy that, in my opinion, showed that Aaron Roberts is just that, a big, big, nasty guy. As he uh, really brushed brushed off those attacks that he was taking on, then taking on taking down both uh, competitors at once within that match. Not only that, we saw him with a hot tag. He had an incredible hot tag in that match. And uh, what I love that T bone suplex from Aaron Roberts. My God, loved it. Remind me of Taz. Uh, and then you saw from Zay Washington. He did a flip over the top rope. When he flipped over the top rope, attacking his opponent. He landed on his feet, landed on his feet when he did that, flipping over that top rope, landed on his feet. Then he connected with that 450 splash uh, for the win. And uh, I I love that match. The match was great. After the match, you got a little little entertainment, a little entertainment, VT, as the skimmer horns. (laughs) (laughs) Uncle Mikey came in. Hey, Uncle Mikey had the drip, too. I need that jacket. (laughs) I need that jacket. But uh, some more hits for me. Some more hits for me. Uh, That Austin Lane promo I thought was really great. He uh, gave a great schooling about Memphis wrestling, where we were, where we are now, why he is the best of the best. What does he say? Rope to rope, pillar to post. I like that right there. I like that. I thought when he cut that promo, did a damn good job of letting everyone know, not just the CW, he got an open challenge to anyone and everyone, hey, come on down here and see why I am the best of the best. I thought that promo was red hot. I thought he hit his marks. I thought he was really fast with his speech. I just thought it was all, all around great. Another hit for me, the focus on new titles. There was a mention in the YouTube chat room about the uh, women's championship and tag team championships. So I'm very, very interested about that. Another hit for me, the production. I thought the production here was sharper. I thought it was quicker. I thought it was faster. So those all were hits on my part. All right. I'm going to agree with you for almost everything you said there. Aaron Roberts and Zay Washington, they are stars, guys. Uh, I booked uh, them winning the tag team belts and the whole storyline and all the way till December. So call me up, Dustin. I booked that while we were talking. <laughs> while we were talking. But they are awesome, guys. Oh, man, JB. You talked about everything they were doing. A beautiful hot tag. And then they cut off Aaron. And you're thinking, what are they doing here? Boom, it still was their hot tag. Very good psychology. Very good. Uh, the skim horns look so good. They do so many double team moves. Just a solid team. Zay Washington, Aaron Roberts are stars. Uh, and they're going to be, if they're not the tag team champions, I don't know. I don't know who I would put the belts on. A great, great team. The girls match was a lot better this week. They left them alone, let them do what they had to do, and then jumped into the finish. I like that. Uh, Austin Lane's open challenge. You talk about the interview. I guess one thing I'm used to Austin doing great interviews uh, at local shows. What I like most about this is it's an open challenge, Rhino JB. And let me tell you, wouldn't you like to see Austin Lane against, say, Zay Washington? I would. (laughs) I would. That would be <laughs> a match. That's one of my dream matches for this show. So I hear, I don't know who the first open challenge is, but I love open challenges. Uh, every, everyone that does them on the WWE always gets a big pop for the music that starts and everything. And I always like open challenges. And finally, we had an angle at the desk. And you know, I love stuff like that. Let me talk about another match, too. Another match, tag team match that I really like was the 
the main event. And the reason why I want to mention it uh, is that both of those matches, go back and watch them, guys. If you're in the business, if you're a wrestler, watch the first match, the psychology. Go back and watch the second match, which was much longer, much slower. And Alan Steele and Johnny Dotson will show you there's a saying. It's not the moves you do. It's what you do in between the moves. Watch what the old, the old veterans. I said it, Alan. I'm sorry. Watch what the veterans do. All right. <laughs>